This video will show you how to manage related lists. Related lists essentially apply when you're on a record, in this example, a property record, and there's a section surfaced here called related lists, which implies that these are other records that happen to be connected to this property. You could tell how many records there are. In this case, there are zero, but if you did want to add, let's say, a sale comp for this property and you clicked on new, populated the information about the sale comp, and presumably as much information as you can and you've saved it, now there is a ticker mark of one to show you that there is one sale record associated with this property. You could also continue to add sub subsequent or past sales to indicate that there have been multiple sales for this property. The same concept would apply for obviously leases, which would be tenants, listings, which would be the agreements or any ongoing deals. So you could have several records all pointing or connected back to this property. Really the concept of this video though is to show you that you can edit a few things about this related list. One of the examples is potentially edit the order in which these appear. The next thing would be to also uh, determine how you like the layout. So let's start with order. Go to setup if you are the admin. Go to object manager. The object that you're looking to edit here is property. Page layouts, and because there are multiple page layouts for each property type, you'll have to do this each and every time. So I'm going to go to the office layout. And while this may be a lot to take in, um, just know that on the left side here, you could see a few things that are happening. You'll want to scroll down to where it says related lists, and then the screen uh, shifts a little bit and shows you the related lists more in a list view. And so if you wanted sales to be above notes, you could actually click and drag it up to where it's green. If you wanted leases to be right below sales, you would click and drag until it becomes green. So now you've got sales leases and potentially maybe listings and move that up. And maybe you want notes below floors and availabilities, which are vacancies below listings. And you can save. Again, you'd have to repeat that same exact thing for every other page layout if you wanted that to take place. Otherwise, it will only really effectively take place for the office layout. Go back to my office building here and refresh. And what we should see is that sales is first instead of notes, leases, listings, availabilities in the order that we basically dictated. Now, this is one way you could see the related list. We call this a quick link because you hover over it and it saves a good amount of real estate on your screen. There is, um, there are rather other ways that you could see the related list. And this is a matter of preference. Do keep in mind if you make the next change I'm about to do, it would apply for all of the users in your Salesforce instance. So to change, um, or rather dramatically change how this is displayed, go to Setup, and this time go to Edit Page. This is really a drag and drop editor that allows you to decide the user experience and how things are laid out. And so on the left, you'll have a column of um, uh, action items here and or components. And what we're looking for is, again, related lists. There's multiple kinds. If we took one that said related lists only and clicked and dragged it up top, this is just an example, you could see that it's much larger and it's also above the details, which doesn't make sense because it essentially occupies the entire screen. So you could always remove or delete that and you're back to your original. You could take this related list quick links on the right, the existing one, and also drag and drop that as a widget. And now it's repositioned all the way across your screen instead of on the right. Again, really a matter of preference. Um, there is one last one, which is if you want it as a tab here, which is also quite common, you would click into the center console, click add tab, and then click inside that last one and make sure you select related and done and that renames this tab that creates that tab and renames it to related and then you can go back in here to related lists and drag it and so again you see the same information on the right this is more of a hover quick link this is more of a longer takes up more real estate 
but allows you to um, access it by you know deciding being able to click in this uh, navigation bar up here. The other thing about the center console is that you could decide what's the default when you open the record. So in this case, obviously it defaults to details. You could have it de um, default to related if you want so that when any user opens a property record, they're directly taken here instead of details. But I would say for the most often, details is the most common. And so those are some ways you can um, manipulate how the related lists look. You can also, um, from here, you cannot remove related lists. Removes would be back in the object manager where we were prior. So this is really just more of the aesthetic view of um, how you're able to access your related lists. So not making any changes here. The uh, general concept is it's largely going to depend on um, your preference, your organization's preference, and how you're able to leverage the concept of related list if you prefer to hover or if you prefer to see them all in one place. Changing gears a little bit from properties, if we were to go to accounts, accounts also have their own related lists. Same concept, if you needed to reorder or remove, we would go to setup, edit object, object manager, account, page layouts, figure out which page layout is being used. If there's multiple, then you'd have to determine which one. If there's just one, you can go ahead and pick that. Again, related lists. And let's say you wanted to remove um, a related list. You see that there is a remove re related list icon. If you click on that, it will essentially remove it. Alternatively, you might want to add one that is not currently here if it makes sense for you. And again, the concept here is it's two records connected to each other. So where it might make sense for you to want to add a record that would be connected to an account, you can go ahead and do that. Some examples here would potentially be leases, tenant rep broker, so that if you were looking at um, an account record, you could see if that account, such as CBRE or JLL, as an example, was a tenant rep broker on a lease record. Not to get too overcomplicated, but just know that you don't have to use every single related list possible, only where it makes sense and only where you feel like you want to be able to discern relationships and be able to see how records are connected to each other. Otherwise, you could just uh, leave it as is with how you have your appendix and either um, reorder them as you see fit or change the aesthetics as we discussed previously. For this example, I'll just go ahead and save, assuming that this is the change that I've made, and click on Save. And go back to my account record to refresh. And now I could see leases, tenant, rep, broker. But again, there are none. However, for some records or some account records where they are the tenant, rep, broker, um, and let's see if we'll be able to pull one up here. So for this particular record, Cushman and Wakefield, Utah, you'll notice that there are there's a two ticker counter because Cushman is actually listed as the tenant rep broker for two lease records. And so it won't always um, show up. Only if there is data there will you see that there is a number indicating the amount of records displayed there. 